My name is Righteous Nikki, and welcome to this week's Tavern Bro. Randomonium. We had this Tavern Bro for uh, quite a lot of times, and it's still one of my favorites because it's just pure RNG and somewhat balanced RNG. Uh, it, it, you really do enjoy the games uh, whenever you play this particular Tavern Bro, and of course, Quas. Um, I would suggest Warrock. Card draw is always premium, so why not? Let's see. Let's try to get a win. Sandalio, this is this the the Despacito Paladin Sandalio. Damn, I actually like this uh, hand. Wood Knight is very good versus Paladin. Paladin cards, uh, if he has like some Divine Shield minions, is gonna be very valuable. Mortal Kombat early game and how far away clear. Perfect, perfect opening. Um, he's gonna start with a Prince Malkazar, so that's very good for him. The only thing that can save me here is card draw. And now that I notice the reduced mana cost, I came to the conclusion that this is the uh, random tower bro where you actually get random mana costs. So it's pretty likely that I'm gonna get screwed very hard because I didn't save any late game minions. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna get the void core here, but problem is that I don't have any demons to use with him, so I guess we just play it like that. I don't know. Maybe he's gonna be afraid to attack it and then next turn I can card draw into a demon potentially. But it seems very lowly possible. Well, now at least he has a divine shield minion which I can use. Okay. And I can trade into that. Or I cannot, because he has a get down, the best secret to have in this situation. Um Yeah, this is going insanely bad for me at the moment with that with that in mind. Um let's just do that, I guess throw that as well okay I do have the cataclysm but mean oh shit so that's 13 damage 14 gonna be left on 4 I wonder if I should Cataclysm here. I'm very low well on options. Do we have a way to clear this board without Cataclysm? I can do that, how far and clear. And then Cataclysm the next turn. Seems good. Though, if I want to be more HP, I would Demon Rat and Mortal Coil. Okay. I could card draw here as well. Alright, so... We are somewhat in a good spot here, but... Let's keep in mind that he has a lot of legendaries and I just have discard mechanics here, which is not good at all. Thermopoke for one and Stalag. This is a turn for Dark Bargain and I cannot play those two. Oh, there goes the Cataclysm. That was probably worth it. I don't know. Jeeves. Holy shit. He has the Bells and Seal of Champions. This is GG. Totally forgot that I didn't think that the costs were randomized as well. I thought it was the other randomonium thing. Let's try for game number two then, shall we? 
You know, I might have survived this if I didn't discard the Cataclysm from the Dark Bargain, but... Never lucky, man, never lucky. Okay. Spell costs more. I do have only minions at the moment. I think I'll try to swap the crow dinomancer. Okay. Right. Hmm. Well, this seems like a decent opening hand, I guess. Let's see. Unbound elemental turn one. That seems pretty good. I'm going to get a Crow Dynamancer. It's even better. Okay. Tame it, my. It's fine. He doesn't really have good strong minions with him, so... Now this kind of screws me over because I have the coin, but hopefully it would screw him as well. Okay. Question is now, do I go face or do I trade? Oh, uh, why not face? I just have little next turn. No, actually, I, I cannot use the coin. Seems like it's gonna be an easy win, especially if I get work three. Yep. Well, that was a very easy game. I guess this guy did the same thing as I did last game. He just didn't toss over his <laughs> wall mana cost minion uh, stuff and you just got screwed on Mulligan. Oh well, they just opened this pack and. Pack, please. I haven't gotten a legendary from a quite a long time, but I really wish it wouldn't have been from the classic pack. Okay. Golden Flare! Nice. Well, that's going to be everything from me from this 6th Tavern Pro, guys. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay righteous.